concept getters how are you guys i hope everything is going well and yeah all the best with the upcoming exams but i just want to do the identities trigonometric identities right i'm going to start with this one as my first video with trigonometry and then we're going to take it from here this one they want us to prove the identity 2 cos theta over tan theta minus sine theta here right sine theta over 1 minus cos squared theta equals to cos 2 theta over sine theta so what we're going to do is we're going to take every time guys when you do identities the first thing you're going to have to consider is to take the most complex side so that you can just simplify because if you choose the simple side you'll have to make it complicated which is basically more like factorizing a lot and introducing one and blah blah and that is like the, the challenging path do that make sense so I'd rather take the complicated side and then simplify it using identities so i'm going to introduce identities i know maybe you're familiar with it but i'm just going to write them on the side so that when i pull them or when i apply them you can see them on your screen so i'm going to start with this one in grade 11 you have tan theta equals to sine theta over cos theta so every time when you see tan you can consider sine over cos right and then in grade 11, you have these three, but they come from one, which is uh, sine squared theta plus cos squared theta equals to one. And then if I transpose this to the other side of the equal sign, right, it's going to be negative. Remember, it's positive here. So if I transpose it, it's going to be negative. So I'll be left with sine squared theta equals to one minus cos squared theta do that make sense and again if i if we go back to the first one if i transpose this to the other side of the equal sign remember it's positive when it goes to the other side of the equal the equal sign it's going to be negative right and which means i'll be left with cos squared theta as my subject of the formula so i can write it which is going to be what cos squared theta is equal to one minus sine squared theta so these three is basically the same thing but then they just made one the subject of the formula or they made cos the subject of the formula or they made sine square uh, sine the subject of the formula or sine squared theta clear these ones are the grade 11 ones and then in grade 12 we have uh double angles even compound angles but here you can see we're only dealing with double angles for now so i'm just going to mention the double angles so when you have sine 2 theta you know it's gonna be 2 sine theta cos theta so when you see this you can substitute by this or when you see this you can substitute by this do that make sense and then the double angle for cos 2 theta have three solutions the first one you can say it's when you have cos squared theta minus sine squared theta the second one, it's where now it's 2 here, right, on cos. So you're going to say 2 cos squared theta minus 1. And the last one, you're starting with 1 and you say minus 2 sine squared theta. These ones, actually, I think all of them, but these one particular, these ones particularly for the grade 12 are given on your formula sheets, okay? So I'm going to apply some of these ones when I deal with this question so let's see now we are given i'm gonna rewrite the question and i'm gonna say we have two cos theta over tan theta minus sine theta over one minus cos squared theta right so i'll, I'll say this is my left hand side is equal to because this is on the left side right this is left this is right come on guys right so when you choose the left hand side they're the most complicated side you simplify remember this is this is my trick remember guys i will always give you tricks right when you look at the question you can see that my denominator is sine theta which means all the denominators that i see here i need to see sine theta so i'm going to simplify everything or change everything so that they can be sine or i will have only sine somewhere do i make sense so that means uh you see this one here i will check on my identities if i can change it to sine something and then tan also you change it to sine over cos because we only want sine and cos we don't need tan our solution does not have a tan 
Do I make sense? So you basically you're gonna be led most of the time. You're gonna be led by what you are proving, what by, by the answer on the other side of the equal side. Clear. So that's my, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna start by saying what I'm gonna start by saying two cos theta over over what tan is what tan is basically sine theta over cos theta and i close then i'll say minus then at the top there i have sine theta over right one minus cos squared theta this one here what is it we go back to our identities here and you can see that one minus where is it one minus cos squared theta is the first one is this one you see it? 1 minus cos squared theta is sine squared theta. So I'm just going to write that one. I'm just going to say sine squared theta. I'm substituting 1 minus cos squared theta by sine squared theta. No, I'm sorted row. I only see sine there. But it's squared. So let's see. If I have a sine theta at the top and at the bottom I have sine squared, sine squared is basically sine theta times sine theta, right? Which means 1 sine theta can cancel 1 sine theta and they go into each other ones and then i'll be left with one over sine theta do i make sense which means this side will be this part clear so that's what i'm gonna write now that's what i'm gonna present so i'm just gonna be like it's equal to and the minus here i'm just gonna say one over sine theta now i i got only sine theta in my denominator for my second term now the first term you can see on my first term i have something like two cos theta over sine theta over cos theta this big over is basically saying divided by so i don't want to divide under like in the denominator so i'm just gonna say how about i just introduce the divide like this and rewrite the fraction that was supposed to be here but i'm gonna rewrite it where i'm gonna rewrite it here do i make sense so i'm just gonna say instead of saying over i'll just say divide by sine theta over cos theta here do I make sense? And now, remember, every time when you have a division, you have to change it to multiplication, and then the numerator will go to the denominator. Denominator will go up to the numerator. Right? We're dealing with fraction, division of fractions, right? So this is what I'm going to do. I'm just going to be like, oh, how about I write 2 cos theta multiplied by, remember, you swap now. It's going to be cos theta over sine theta. And then this is basically over 1 here because if it's not a fraction, the denominator is just 1. Right? And obviously, guys, when you multiply in two fractions, numerator multiplies numerator, denominator multiplies denominator. Does that make sense? So the answer will basically just be what? 2 cos squared theta over sine theta. So that's what I'm going to write here. So this answer here is this one here. Does it make sense, guys? The reason why I'm writing on the side is because uh, I want to have a clean answer, right? So I'm going to say, basically, this is what I'm going to write here as my next step, right? So I'm just going to go straight to it and, and write what? And write 2 cos squared theta over sine theta. Now, we are dealing with addition and subtraction of algebraic fractions. When you see the sign here and sign here, they are the same denominator, LCD, right? If we have uh, the same denominators, when you're adding fractions and you have the same denominators, you just add or subtract the numerators. Makes sense. So basically, my answer will just be what? Will just be 2 cos squared theta minus 1 all over sine theta. Does that make sense? And when I subtract, when I check my numerator now, first of all, let's see. Our denominator is already what we wanted here. But then our numerator looks very funny. There's a 2 next to theta. The whole time when I was simplifying, there was no 2 next to theta. I have a squared, not 2 next to theta, but it's a squared on cos. So how do I put this 2 next to theta? You go back to our identities again. You can see that here on the identities of cos, I have this identity here. Do you, do you see it? which is 2 cos squared theta minus 1. And it's equals to cos 2 theta, right? Which means I can just change my numerator, go back here. I can change my numerator and make it exactly what I have on the question. So that's exactly what's going to happen. Basically, that's our last step, right? So you're going to just say uh, the answer is cos 
2 theta over sine theta. And then if you, therefore you say, therefore, left-hand side is equal to right-hand side because this is equal to this. Come on, guys. Don't tell me this is not easy. So, so, so the trick here is um, identify the identities that you're going to use. Do I make sense? In all the steps. And once you identify them, the rest is just algebra, like addition and subtraction of algebraic fractions, simplifying, um, using reciprocals, dividing, just algebra. And then when you get to the last step where you realize, oh, I can't simplify further, check what you have in relation to the identities, again, that you have. If something can give you another identity and that identity is the solution, then take it. And that's just it. Come on, guys. Don't tell me this is not easy. Ah, man. Math is easy, guys. So, remember to go in here quickly, fast, and at a very high speed, right? You're going to say what? You're going to say... And you're going to do what, guys? You're just going to subscribe, right? You're going to subscribe. And you're going to share with your mates, your classmates, your teacher, your friends, so that everyone can pass math, right? And then after doing that, because you are a nice person, because you like this content, right? I hope you do. If you really do like this content and you find the math easy because of this video or other videos, remember just to also like and also just comment. Say something, guys. I want us to talk and catch up and tell me about the exam or the previous test that you wrote. Let's just talk. 